The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Another week of the podcast. It is a Monday night, 10th of February. Good times with Mo the podcast brought to you by Globe. Welcome to the program. Our phone number is 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can text us at 0927-214-1981. Bianca Valerio is here. Hey, Bianca. Hello. How are you? I'm very nice. That's nice shoes you got on today. Thank you. I actually uh, I like the other. You did like a shoe selfie. Uh, I think last week I was like, oh yeah, well, those are nice shoes too. Yeah, I've I've decided. You know, I I'm trying not to uh, give in to the whole selfie movement, but I'll do the shoes. <laughs> movement. Come on, you're guilty as charged on that yeah, shit too. Yeah. So it's like, um, Is no, this the like I've never actually done shoe? the. I actually, su- I've actually tried doing it, and I suck. It, 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 something always seems to go wrong. So I've, I've, I've posted stuff that people took a photo of me and and done done that, but the actual selfie, that's right. Yeah, I can't do. Have you ever posted a selfie? Uh, probably. I mean, not. I follow you. It's just that I, 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 on that I get to see your feed sometimes. I think I do it sarcastically. Like if I do have a selfie, it's gonna be with like fucking bamboo. So, so you know, may malaking kulangot like the dangling <laughs> from my nose. You know, it, it's. I'm never going to take it seriously because uh, I don't like photos that much. I mean, I, I don't like being in pictures. Right. So if I'm going to be in a picture, it's going to be because there's some sort of like joke there or some reason that, uh, aside yeah. from vanity, which most people do. No, but it's okay. okay. I mean, ta- like, you know, you're, you're pretty and you're allowed to do selfies. It's the other chicks uh, that are not allowed. No, oh, I, I was, you know, since we're talking about shoes, you know, yeah. a lot of guys are into the whole like, you know, I'm again, I'm sorry, guys, if I don't know the terms like the Jordans and the Airs and the Yeah, something. yeah, like sneakers. Yeah, yeah you know, I mean. Yeah, yeah, kicks. Like a sneaker, yeah, so they call them sneakerheads or and whatever. And that's why I mean, are, are you one of those? Because you're also going to the All Star Games this weekend. Yeah, not not too much. Um, I well, l- let me put it this way: No, I'm not a sneakerhead by by any means at all. Um, I am giving away like really nice sneakers, like you know basketball shoes, on like say my uh, my Twitter account yeah. this week. The new Kobe nines will be given away. I got the Jordan six infrared one that's going to be given away on the Twitter. So they're big deals to a lot of fucking people. Right, right. And I want to thank, by the way, Titan twenty two for uh, hooking me up with those sneakers to give away. But personally, am I one who collects them and hoards them? And no, but I did last year line up in a really fucking long line. To get a pair of Air Force One the camouflage Air Force One because Shepard, I like the camo. But it's a Air Force One. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry. Right, you think it's the the, the girly bar, but the girly I, I bar. like I like camouflage for some reason. I like love that, camo that look, and so I don't sexy. know if it's going out of style already. And I I, I, I hope it doesn't. But I, I don't know care. It is. I I love it. Yeah, it's just so I, know, I know it's going to go out of style, it just... or it's about to go down, and I feel bad yeah. because I have the Air Force One camel shoes and this fucking camel backpack. I mean, I, I enjoy it, but fuck, I know its days are numbered. Well, you know, but okay, so in fashion, it's kind of like when you go to a fashion event, let's say you're going to a Prada event. <laughs> what the you fuck? Know? No way. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm anyway, just saying, yeah. let's say you're going to oh, a Prada okay, event. Else. You yeah, know, sure. delicadesa, you know, courtesy is you don't wear a direct competitor. So is it the same like with basketball games? Like, for example, you're watching a game and it's 
a team that doesn't have Kobe Bryant in it. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I'm just giving myself Yeah, away. I mean, it is, it is and it isn't. Like, okay, if you go to, say, a Laker game okay. and you wear a Pistons jersey – and they're okay, not jersey's playing that different. night. different. I'm talking about like shoes. No, no, that, that's the, no, 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 that's the delicadeza part of it. Yeah. It's the jersey. Your equivalent is, say, shoes or any other kind of like uh, whatever. It could be anything. It could be a bag. If you're going to go yeah. to a fucking Prada event and you're wearing fucking an Hermes bag, it's, it's disrespectful. I, yeah. I didn't know that. But if you're telling us that that's in case that is true, then yeah. I mean, is it disrespectful to wear another team's basketball jersey at a game and they're not even playing that night and it's not the home team? It's not... It's not wrong. It's, it's not stupid. It's not even stupid. It's just if you get your ass kicked, don't be surprised. Okay. Like, right. There'll be like a physical. Right. There'll be like a if there's a violent reaction, then don't be surprised. Yeah, it's very terrible. And, and you know, and and that's a that, and in America there are there is still violence. Just imagine what it's like in conflict areas. Like if you fucking go to say a hardcore football nation and you went out and you just. And and the country's really like fucking crazy. And oh, you yeah. went out and, and did someone else's jersey. They'll, yeah, they'll fucking stomp on you. Games. Yeah, totally. They'll fucking yeah. they'll, they'll kill you. You know. Now we have we do have deaths here because a person wears another jersey. They're probably once or twice a year. I'm assuming in those places it's like once or twice a game if you fuck around like that. So it's not more disrespect. I guess disrespect. There's an element to it, but you must imposed. be fucking out of your it's mind. It's just more of like. Ba-dang. Yeah, we're just gonna fucking stomp yeah. you. I mean, it's not even that I'm disrespect. It's just more like I just want to kick your ass because you're wearing that, you know. And then that's how it is. All right. I didn't know that there was like, that was the case in the fashion world. You can't wear like someone yeah, else's it's, shit. It's just that's, kind of like because I mean, you got to be honest. There are a lot of um, um, designs where the brand, the logo, is just screaming at you. Unless you're sure. a super hardcore fashion person, then something so simple as a T-shirt, you would never know what brand it is, right? But you know the ones where the, where the, where the logos are just screaming i guess it's, yeah, like, it's not really a one... rule but parang, uh, you know just it's it's sort of like an unspoken rule just for courtesy. no i get that no that, that yeah. makes sense you know there was one i was i was looking through instagram the other day and i saw richard gutierrez wearing a, a shirt i don't know if it's i think it's Givenchy that that has the doberman uh thing with the doberman logo I, wouldn't you don't know. know okay anyway whatever i think okay. it's john she that does that and i've been looking for that fucking backpack oh, really? I, lo- I collect backpacks and he has the shirt version and i'm like fuck it is fuck. yeah it's Givenchy. yeah apparently. i think it's Givenchy with the with the doberman and shit yeah it's yeah. good stuff all right anyway we gotta get to well, fucking okay home. here we go i thought this rich people talk let's get to the <laughs> fucking we got a lot of international calls tonight so let's start with tokyo mm. hey tokyo 28 your name is jay you're on line five mushy mushy my friend thanks for yeah. being here hello Jay? Hey. Hi, Jay. Hey. Hello. What's up, buddy? Hey, how can we help you? Oh, uh, yeah, I got a question. Um, is it considered cheating if a guy or a gal pays for sex when they are in a relationship? Or does cheating need a commitment with another person for it to be considered uh, cheating? Well, there are you know, different kinds well, of cheating. There's emotional. Yeah, and the thing is, it's physical. so hard. It's Well, it, it all, it's, they're all cheating. Now, yeah. it's how much... How, what is, how does it? How is it defined by you? Like, how do you define cheating? But all of that's okay. cheating. There's an emotional cheating. There's a. I, I don't agree with that. That there's an emotional and there's a physical. There's just cheating. Now, it's, oh yeah, what is meaning cheating because entail, if they're trying to categorize it, it and stuff, just to be all technical. Honestly, I think it's just to get away with a lot of things, finding loopholes. But yeah, exactly, cheating is cheating. Um, yeah, it's just fucking cheating, dude. It's like it, it's just straight up. Uh, if you. Put your dick into somebody else. If you put someone's dick in your mouth, or you, that's cheating. Yeah. And if you're in a relationship, yeah, because it doesn't matter the, if you pay for it or, or if it was a one-night stand or whatever. <laughs> exactly, because the point is the intention is there. It's a, you know, the fact that you even pray, paid for it, that means it wasn't, a, oh my God, I was so drunk. It was, it was premeditated. Like you actually thought about it. Like there was actually a process of steps that you went through to go through with something or like that. Or any kind of sexual act with someone else when you are with when you are in a relationship, is cheating. So it doesn't so matter it, if you fucking like pay for it. Kissing is also whatever. cheating? 
Of course of it's course. cheating. Fucking holding someone's hand is cheating. <laughs> fucking talking to the opposite sex and hiding that is yeah. cheating. And that has no sexual act involved in it. Yeah, because any when kind you... of deception or lying is cheating. Yeah, and that's what we we're talking about. Um, remember that time we had a caller and uh, the guy was supposedly cheating on the girl, but he hadn't actually slept with a girl. He was just masturbating to the photos of his Ooh. girlfriend's best friend. I think that's cheating too. It may not well, be physical. Well, I'm. I'm I'm going to be no, because if you're masturbating about someone else, then that's not cheating. But if you're talking to them and you're hiding it behind. Oh, you remember this partner, is the guy who stalks his, the, her Facebook page yeah, like I, every 20 minutes. Cheating. That's not cheating, but you should, you should yeah. still break up with him. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, uh, for me, it's creepy. the fact that it lingers, you know, other than being loyal to just your partner and their sexual desire for another person. I could understand if your desire was for Ryan Gosling or for Giselle Bunchen. I mean, hey, we all do, right? But if it's actually a person that you know or your girlfriend knows or it's an actual person in front of you then of I mean, course it's I'm cheating. not sure if that's I'm not sure if that's cheating well, but for me. regardless you should still break up with the guy anyway yeah. but anyway back to this guy because this is his question <laughs> Jay yeah, yeah definitely uh, so, you know I think the reason why some guys do it and they try to categorize and I said this on the radio today because we talked about this today on the radio it was jurisdiction the topic on the radio today was when you go out of town do you cheat on, do you look forward to cheating on your boyfriend or your girlfriend, husband, or wife when you go out of town? Because what people tend to do is when you leave the country, they, they tend to sell the idea that my relationship is, has a jurisdiction of this country. And if I go abroad, it, I'm now out of jurisdiction. Are you fucking so, serious? There are people no, like I'm, I'm, this. No, no, no. I'm not saying there, there are people who look at it specifically like this. I'm trying to come up with an excuse of oh, why okay, okay. every single caller we got today says, hell yeah, I cheat when I go away. When I go out of town, fuck yeah, I'm cheating. Why? And I said, is it a jurisdiction thing? And they go, yeah, it's a jurisdiction thing. That's how we sell it to ourselves. And I'm like, ah, okay. So maybe what, what's going on, say, with this caller, Jay, is like, okay, if yep. I pay for it, I'm out of jurisdiction because it's not – a commitment. Yeah, it's not an, an emotional, emotional thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pay for sex is not cheating because it's out of the jurisdiction of a relationship, which you will be mistaken. That's that would be wrong if you if you feel that way. I now, Jay, ha, do you have a girlfriend, and are you going to be paying for? for no, sex I have soon? a wife. Oh, okay. okay, and then you're thinking about it. Oh no 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 not actually so no not really. Um, okay. All right. right. That was weird. well. It would be. It would be if you pay for if you pay. Let's yeah. say some Japanese girl over there in Tokyo, and you pay for. <laughs> no, because actually here in Japan, it's it's kind of bit like this one. If they pay for sex, it's not actually cheating. Like, you can you can file that one as a divorce reason or something. You cannot file it as a divorce reason. Yeah, like my but my isn't husband prostitution is like, illegal. Um, every day he isn't goes to like a, a pub or something. Or, yeah. But isn't prostitution illegal there? By the way, uh, whose fucking phone is that? Is that your phone, Jay? Put it away for a little bit. There's a huge uh, feedback thing. Yeah. Um, isn't prostitution illegal there in Japan, though? Um, if there's sex, it is illegal. Okay. So but, like, they he... have a lot of forms of, of like pleasure shops. Pleasure shops. Oh, I see. If you get your ducks, if, if you get your uh, your uh, dick sucked by some girl in a hole, is that cheap? Is that uh, illegal? Um, no, it's not. You can get a fucking blowjob and that's fucking completely legal? Yes. It's very Bianca, legal. Book, book it. Let's go. Um, uh, yeah. so uh, anyway, okay. Book it. So again, obviously it's a very book cultural thing. But as with all cultures, it doesn't necessarily mean that people need to follow or actually accept those certain things. Because that's already things that both two people agree in a relationship. You know, that's something that you guys talk about. Like, what are the parameters of their relationship? Well, no, no, but at the same time, yeah. Well, like we said, cheating is defined by however you want to define it. Yeah. If the wife says it's not cheating, then he can get his dick sucked every yeah. single night by a different girl, no problem. Then it's not cheating. It is only how you define it. But yeah. I bet you, if you take that story and you fucking do a survey around the world, different yes. countries, most likely people are going to side with what I said, yeah. which is it's cheating. Yeah, it's kind of oh, like those stories when they say, oh, why'd you do that? Oh, but in so-and-so's house, I can – um." It, it, yeah, but it's there. But well, it's, it's like this. It's okay in Amsterdam. They allow you to smoke weed. Ex on the okay, street. perfect. Is example, smoking yes. weed? Is smoking weed taking drugs? Yes. Is drugs illegal? Are drugs illegal most of the time? Yes. They're yeah. they are pretty much illegal in 
about 90, not 95% of the countries, it's illegal. Yeah. But you can do it in Amsterdam. Okay, you can do it in Amsterdam, but you still took drugs. And if I ask you on a lie detector machine, have you taken any drugs? You have to say yes, because even though it was legal, it's still taking drugs. So same thing here. You can say in Japan, they say the wives go, oh, okay, it's not cheating because you're paying for sex. Okay, but in 95% of the rest of the countries, if you try yeah. to do that with your wife, you're going to get a fucking punch in the face. And yeah, because <laughs> for you, if you don't consider it cheating, then you should be with a partner who feels the same way and vice versa. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, my wife doesn't. So. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> and well, I, I mean, bad, I for your, bad for your dick, but... Good for your relationship. Okay. All right, buddy. Well, thanks, Jay, for the call. We appreciate yeah, it. Enjoy Tokyo. So what's the, te- what's the okay. temperature there like right now? Is it really cold? Um, zero. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Zero degrees. Yeah. Kind, of, kind of warm. All right. Okay, thanks, happy buddy. Valentine's. Take care. Oh, you too. <laughs> thanks. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. I say this all the time, man. What? If you speak Japanese, I would never leave Japan. Like, I've been there so many like, times. I'm sure if you've been I were there. a chick and I spoke Japanese? No, no, no. No, no, no. Just being able to fucking absorb everything that's going on there there's no better place in the world like if you are japanese or if you speak and understand and read japanese mm-hmm. i would never leave japan ever really? it's the greatest fucking place yeah they've well, got yeah, my, everything my... from the world's greatest food to mm-hmm. the world's greatest technology to an really immense cultural people, yeah really no really old school also like in touch with their culture of yes, history and all of that stuff I agree. they've got beautiful scenery They've got, you know, anything from fucking Mount Fuji to the fucking, um, uh, you know, what's the flowers again? The fucking um, the cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms. Yes. I mean, you, 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 they've got everything over there. I would never fucking leave. And the it's only the only one where, you know, for kids, it has Disney C, other than, you know, the typical Disneyland, Disney yeah, World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I went to, I went, I've been there. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice. But what I'm saying is, like, they have everything for everybody. Like, just as long as you can understand what's going on. What a fucking great place. Yeah, for as long as you're not lost in translation, as they say. Right. All right. All right. Um, We have someone in, I think we have someone in Manila now. Hold on one second. We're going to go with Chelsea, 24, Manila. Hi, Chelsea. Line six. Hey, hey, Mo. What's up? Um, I'm a really big fan. Um, Thanks, baby. So I just, okay, um, I just moved here from New York, actually. I born and raised here in Manila. Went to New York for a couple uh, years, and uh, I just got back here six months ago. And for some reason, I've been kind of depressed. Like you know, like I miss I miss the city, I miss living there, and it's a really big um, adjustment. And it's affected my dating life in such a way that I'm not really accustomed to how uh, dating is uh, for people my age here in Manila. In what way in particular? uh, Hello. Like in what way specifically? Uh, more, more of that. Um, in from my experience in New York, um, you can casually date multiple multiple guys. Not necessarily have sex with them, but date multiple guys and not be a slut. So yeah, and hang I out. get here, yeah. and um, I'm not really. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar, and also I, I, I sort of had to reconnect with my circle of friends. And recently, um, I, 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 I met a guy, but then. Not really just met. So uh, I was visiting Manila um, a few years ago. Uh, that was, oh, sorry, four years ago. That was 2010. I met him for just the evening. We made out. Nothing happened. And then fast forward to a couple of months later, I'm still here. I, uh, my friends and I visited him in his province because he owns a, like a telco company. And we call. So we visited him there. So he just friends, everything. I'm not attracted to him whatsoever. Fast forward to um, last November, I see him out, and I'm like, wow, he's how cute. Um, actually, he looks, uh, you know, he's someone I'd totally date, and he's actually cool and everything. But I totally forgot about him until last week, I was drunk out of my mind. Uh, I was going through Instagram, and I saw someone's picture, and she had uh, one of my, my friends, and she just cut her hair, and I typed love in the hair. And I guess I was uh, really drunk and I typed it in the wrong picture and I commented on his photo, which was really stupid because there was no hair in his picture. I only found out the next sure. day when it was like he a shoe selfie. said, why, right. thank, why thank you. And then he texted me uh, just the other day, you know, that he just moved here, et cetera, et cetera. So I hung out. Uh, we hung out the other night. 
Uh, we got really, you know, wasted and stuff, but nothing really happened. So I want to know, um, I mean, maybe you could offer, you know, enlighten me. Uh, is this, is this, I mean, should I consider actually dating this guy or am I just being friend zoned after, you know, like, or history and shit like that? So I don't know. What do you guys think? No, I, I think there's definitely, I, I think definitely there's an interest on his part. Um, I mean, listen, when you send a message on his Instagram, even though it was an error that you said, hey, nice hair, and he says, ooh, she wants me, I'm going to go mm-hmm. ahead and I – mean, he, he's not obviously saying, she, you know, you want him yeah. on top of you. But it's like, ooh, that's unnecessary on her part. That sounds like she's flirting with me. Let me go ahead and send her a text message and see what she's up to. And then he sends you the text message and said, hey, let's go out. Boom, you go out. You guys get fucking maggot face drunk. Nothing happens, but it doesn't mean that nothing won't happen. I mean, he hasn't seen you in a while. He's not going to pounce on you immediately. He's going to take his time because most people want to be sure that, you know, especially, you know, with this whole, with this whole, the lakanang food uh, fucking scandal, um, you know, you, you can get a little hesitant about making an aggressive first move, especially if it's going to be towards something physical. So, I so do you think, think that's actually a nice thing of him to do? That it's not a very douchebaggy thing at all? Well, because she's drunk. See, that's the thing, man. Like, you well, that's great. Al- he didn't take advantage of her. Right. You always have to be wary. Now, I know in Manila it's different, but he, like, for example, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll call her back. We just lost her. Um, yeah. Here in California, for example, it is illegal to have sex with someone who's drunk. Even oh, if really? she says yes to do it, you can get arrested for that. Because that she's would too be intoxicated to make too conscious intoxicated to, to make a sound decision. Yeah. Right. So that's a fucking crime to do something like that. They have to be of sound mind and body and get a yes before you can fucking do something sexual to them. And that's just protecting you girls. That's a good idea. So, you know, when you have that in the back of your mind that, oh, my God, right now there's a big scandal going on. I mean, I mean who knows if he's thinking of Vong or not, but at least – the consciousness is there. The, yeah. The, you know, whether you think about it like specifically or that you've heard so much about it that your mind is programmed to always go, oh, hey, be careful. She's intoxicated. Be careful. No sex. You just saw her for the first time after four yeah. years. Take it slow. But you can, you can, you can kind of still be confident that he's into you because he's calling you, he's texting you, he's you saying got, hey, that she let's got go his out. attention enough to even want to make the effort exactly. to, to call back. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the reason why he sent that text message is because you sent that message on Instagram. It sounded very flirtatious. Yeah. It did. It super did. He, that was yeah, my intention. That he's gonna, That's why. Yeah. I think well, it's a whole mind fuck, you know. It's not a mind fuck. It, actually, I think it's about as as clear as you can yeah, get. Yeah, it's the guy, actually very straight. The up. guy reads a flirtatious message on on his account. He then immediately texts you to go out. Mm-hmm. There, of course, mm-hmm. is an interest there. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I don't know if there's an interest to date you. Yeah, but that's what, what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like, how would you there's know what his intentions to fuck you. are, though? Like, do you think he actually really wants to date her seriously or just... Oh, we don't know yet. The, yeah, that's why. Or just seeking the the potential that this could be something. You know, it's, um, it's okay. To be honest. Yeah. No, no. Hold on, Chelsea. To be honest. If a girl sends me a flirtatious message on my Twitter, my uh, fucking um, Facebook, Instagram, and if I smell that it's flirtatious, I'm going to send her a message back because I want to fuck her. Like, I, I think, oh, maybe I can get some sex out of this. Yeah. Now... Will that sex equate to dating? Who knows? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if I do just want to get laid, this would this would be totally easy, right? Like I could just oh yeah, I don't know. oh yeah. This is slim pickings. Yeah, you're fine. If you want if you want to fuck this guy, you're you're in the house. Yeah. Remember, he's oh, yeah? just like yeah, you. Yeah, really. Am I? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Listen, he's just like you. He is new in town. Probably has some, you know. Probably needs to kind of be social as well, just like you. And you know, it, it's. Serendip- serendipatiousness that the both of you are here in Manila yeah. for the first time again after a long time and you need some social shit. Now, I'll tell you this. From a guy, though, in a guy's frame of mind, and, and Pico, you can back me up if you want. Mm-hmm. If you send me a fucking flirty text, if you send me a flirty message, regardless of how, where you sent it, 
I'm out the fuck. Yes, Pico? It's on. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's, it's on, on like, like fucking Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Yeah, I'm yeah. on my way. I'm putting my dick out already. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, you just need to fall on it. <laughs> but yeah, but Chelsea Mo always says this thing because we have a lot of callers that actually ask, you know, how do I get this guy to date me? And this mm-hmm. is what Mo always says. It's, you know, especially if they banged them already or haven't banged them, it's, don't sleep with him unless you're committed to him don't sleep with him it's like don't give him what he wants so if mm-hmm. it, it depends mm-hmm. what you want if you just want to bang yeah. him then then go Fucking for it him. yeah but if you actually want more than that then you know hold back like actually don't sleep with him and then see where that goes and see where i see but, where his effort actually extends to and it's a okay. ni- but it's a nice little touch though i'll tell you this though chelsea it, it, it just to kind of make you feel better well, it's not like you felt bad but let's just to to kind of to kind of i don't know make you feel better he you were drunk he probably could have banged you that night right mm-hmm. if he wanted to if he made a move he would have fucked you yes mm-hmm. yes yes he could yeah see and he didn't that's always a great sign yeah, like that's I a like great that sign part. that you were you were easy pickings and he didn't fuck you. I think there's yeah. there may be a, there may be a, a hesitancy in his part because you were intoxicated and or maybe it's too early. He's not confident that he can get some ass right now, but he's he's out to look for some ass. I'm oh, or simply you. You he just don't want to take advantage of you. At least I'd yeah. like to think that. Yeah, you can fuck him at any time you want right now at this point. Yeah. <laughs> He's very cute and he's a gentleman, but, you know, I've been here for six months and I have been, you know, I, I, I haven't found any interest in any guy. And, well, uh, I need a date. So <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Have sex with him. You'll be fine. You'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> Thank you and so you know much. What? Thank and, so much. And, and even if you, if you end up, yeah, if you end up liking him too and where you might be able to date him, even if you fuck him now, there's still, a, I, I think there's a good chance that you'll still be able to, to date him. Down the line. And that would be well. really awesome. That would be really awesome. Yeah. Thanks so Good much. Stuff. Thanks so much okay. for All that. Right. Right. Take care. Enjoy that, Good Chelsea. Luck. All right. You're the best. Bye-bye. <laughs> Every time I tell some girl on this show that, yeah, yeah, go, you're fine. Go ahead. Fuck them. You'll be okay. I get kind of jealous. Like, oh, man, it's so easy for them. So easy Are for girls really to get sex. Are they really going to be okay? Come on. No, but it's so easy for girls to get sex. Like, no matter what you look like. And I'm, I'm not addressing this to just you attractive girls, Bianca. You could be the ugliest fucking girl. If you want dick right now, you can get dick right now. Monday night, tonight, you can get, you can get, you can get some ass if you want to. Hey, I, but what about those guys, for example? Okay, maybe she's hot, maybe she's whatever, but she's got a reputation for sleeping around. I know a lot of guys that the would more, not want to tap, no, tap that. No, that's bullshit. No, of no, because not. it's the idea that they could, you know, of be walking disease. Or no, really? no, that's you. Fuck no, that's you, girls. Man, every time we, every time I have to have some sort of sexual conversation, there's always a girl that jumps in and says, "Oh, but what about STDs?" Trust me, guys, don't give a fuck about that. So you're telling me that I guess not all, but the majority of guys, they actually. Could care less if they get an STD from a girl for as long you as they get laid. You have a guy population, and a Filipino male population that don't hesitate to go to fucking spas where they're going to get their dick sucked. They have no hesitation of going to your Air Force ones where they're going to get a piece of ass that's been on someone else's dick, oh, about five minutes ago. They have no hesitant there's no fucking delay in going to those places and the girls in those places fuck oh let's about 10 to 12 guys a day Ugh, what are you nasty. talking about it's like a drive through for jj drive through yeah. right and you think guys are, have, a, have a problem with that of course not yeah well i guess not every single guy i mean there are some guys who are still kind uh, of, of picky. course there's going to be exception to every yeah. rule but at the same time Predominantly. You're, if you, yeah, every time we have a sexual conversation, like earlier on the radio, we we're talking about guys who go abroad and then they cheat when they're out of town. And then, of course, the girl on the show will say, oh, but what about STDs? Are you worried? I'm like, huh? Ah, oh, that's so sad. It's nasty. Of course not. It's just the way it is. Have you ever no, gone? I, uh, no. What? Have you ever Go. What? Never. Nothing. No, go. It's Nothing. a question. No, it's a okay, biographical okay. question. Have you have you ever dated someone and then when you went out of the country, like you've have you ever cheated on them? Ooh, yes. Yeah. Oh, why are all the boys laughing here? Why are they all smiling? Mga interns, yeah. nakakaloka. It's true. Yeah. Hey, listen. I'm sure girls do. I, I'm sure a lot of girls do it too. It's because you can. You're out of the country. Nobody knows you here. No one's gonna fucking and find did, out. And did your girlfriend find Plus, out? Plus, 
plus, no, plus you get all of this new variety and new tasty treats and all of that stuff. It's, of course These you're going to do it. Take it a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country. See? I see one right there. <sighs> What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent it's it's you, do you read me? Respond, agency. Do you copy? What's your status? Oh, Agents, do you oh, copy? Do you, you copy? Where am I? There seems to be no signal tower in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agency! Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission. To the homeowners association meeting. Homeowners association office. Excuse me. Okay. On to other issues. Um. Cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just a proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites. We need to set up a cell site within this village. We don't need that. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets. They feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi completely harmless. Think about That's it. Exactly what Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree. I want to call my father now. Thank you, thank you! No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? 
true power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That's Super Agent CT now! Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina. And... Like a double blowjob. Vagina. Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like a high five in on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program on this Monday night. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Globe. Bianca Valerio here, of course, on Monday night. Hi. Phone number 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can text us at 0927-214-1981. Get yourself on the show. If you are calling from the Metro Manila area, I'll likely give you a free bouquet of flowers courtesy of SupplyCentral.ph delivered to your loved one, to your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, kabit, whatever, to you. Your special something. That's right. Not someone, something. That's right. Let's get to right. more of these calls. Mm -hmm. Bianca, you ready to go? All right. Let's go to line five. Talk to Mitch, who is in Baguio. Hi, Mitch. You are on the show. You're 22, Mitchie. Yeah. Mitchie. Hi. Mitchie, can you speak louder, please? Hi. Can you All hear right. me? Whatever. Yeah, that's good enough. What do you got? What? What is your question? How can we help you? Parang may anger na may con. Mitchie. It's not clear. Oh, Jesus. Ayun na. Mitchie wants to know how to get his boyfriend to come. Mitchie is gay. 
What, what do you think? No, I, I, I honestly, it was hard to tell because the voice was like so faint. So, Mitchie... It could be the choppiest signal of all time. I could tell that he's gay. Okay. So, Mitchie is asking how he can get his boyfriend to come. Well, that's uh-huh. kind of sad. That, therefore, that implies that he has not yet made his boyfriend come. Yeah. Or maybe his boyfriend's not gay. That's that's another thing. Like what I know that's kind of weird, but maybe you know if you. I know, but like, why would you put yourself in that situation if you weren't gay? Hmm. Money, but okay, all right. Anyway, Mitchie. Hey, can you hear me? Okay, so you cannot get your boyfriend to come. Mitch, god damn it! Hello. Those are fucking heavy fingers. Maybe you're pounding on his dick with those heavy fucking fingers. He doesn't like it. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, forget Mitchie. Fuck him. Let's go to um, JP on line six. Hi, JP. Hello. Hi, JP. What's up? I'm good. How can we help How you? How can we help you? Uh, okay, this is a nice question. Yes. Sure. Go. Okay. Go. No. What's your question? Jesus. That is my question. How uh, to increase my sperm count? Mm. Uh, you know, I, what kind of fruits or vegetables uh, <clears throat> need to eat? Uh, it's huh? Google. <laughs> yeah, if, if you Google them, they're gonna they're they're gonna put out like yeah. some. Uh, uh, listen, I don't know. I I I know. I hear asparagus, bananas, avocados, dark chocolate. I mean, the, the ginseng. There's a bunch of stuff out there that people yeah. claim to get a higher sperm count. Um, also, maybe drinking more water. Like, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to achieve more cum or are you trying to get your girlfriend or your yeah, wife pregnant? Yeah, are you pregnant? trying to get someone pregnant? <laughs> uh, both. Well, like, because, like, I'm not a big comer. I, I don't know if I've ever told you that, uh, Bianca. What do you mean like, you're not a I, big comer? Like, well, when I when I ejaculate, like it's not in like large amounts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like little, um, parang parang like. Pang ano lang. Parang pang donut Droplets. lang. Yeah, you, yeah, you squeeze it. Tapos may slow. Like, yeah, it's not a, one of those violent. And I, I actually feel rather insecure about that. And I remember my last <gasps> in girlfriend other words, telling me. Shy ang jismo. Well, no, it's just I don't have a lot of it. Like, my last girlfriend, I remember, so we were having sex, right? Mm. And, for, like, I think this was the first time, like, we were having sex and I actually, like, came on her. You yeah. know, usually it's like you come in a condom or something mm. like that. But this was one of these things where we weren't using a condom, which is dangerous. And um, and uh, she was like, boy, that's not a lot of, uh, that's not a lot of cum. And I'm like, and I was like, why? Do a lot of guys you fuck have lots of cum? <laughs> you know, and then she's like... <laughs> No, maybe well, I guess it's a sign maybe of you like need more water. Yeah, maybe and I'm like, we would think well, maybe it's a sign that you really enjoyed it. If there's more calm or or it could no, mean because not. you've been holding it. No, I'm saying no. what we may be thinking. I've I've never been in that situation before, but um, it it might think. Uh, well, it's just think- it's different for every guy. Some guys come yeah. a lot of liquid where it's fucking all over the room. Some guys actually come chunks like condensed like, milk. Yeah, with like sago. cottage cheese, mm. right? It's like just coming out in like chunks. Ugh. And I think all of that is still within normal range. I mean, it's just a variety of things. How do you change that shit? I don't know. There's always a lot of things on the internet or things on magazines that say, oh, how to get, you know, more cum and you eat this and eat that. But is it really true? Probably not. When you have a, when, when you're, it can encourage when you're low it, but there's sperm, no guarantee. Yeah, when you're low sperm count, you could be you could still be firing out a lot of liquid, but not a lot of sperm. So that's why I want to ask you: What are you trying to achieve? Are you a, are you a, trying to impregnate someone, or do you just want when you're coming? It's like it is in the porn films where it's fucking all over. It's decorating the girl's face. But you know, like a sprinkle, lo- sprinkle of love. yeah. It's just all over. But it's falling off of her nose. It's <laughs> dripping down her chin, which is a really good look. I mean, like I, w- I wish I could do that. I just can't do that. What do you want? Hello? JP. Hello? Yeah. yeah. So you want what? More? Do you want to... Imp- I, know you said, I know you said both, but really, what is it? It has to only be one. What do you want? I want uh, more. You want more cum. Okay. I, I, then I, I don't think that's something that you can like eat and then we're going to see it like... Yeah. You're going to see more cum. I think it's just the way you're built. And don't worry. I'm like you. I'm not a big comer. 
But try drinking more water. And yeah, you know, if uh, if if you know you're too embarrassed to actually go to the doctor to to see if there's anything normal or abnormal about you, which I think is absolutely normal, then you know there are a lot of these. Um, just just Google it. I mean, there are a lot of like medical sites that actually. I'm sure a lot of people. I have just asked don't the think they question. work. Yeah, I, I just don't think they work. Yeah. I think it, it. You are who you are. That's your biology. Yeah. That's how you're built. You're gonna come that amount. I'm yeah. sorry. You're gonna come okay. less when you come more often. You're gonna come more when you don't come as often. But it's still within the same amount. How much are we talking okay. about here? Like when you ejaculate, like, ano sa parang dripping lang ng tubig, like it's just. It's like, or is it at least may ma- may yeah. isang malaking Dude, that then, was poof. not sexy. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah. Because well, what what I do? See, here's my thing. Here's what I look like, uh, Beyonce. So say okay. what Then I'm gonna hold on one second, JP. I'm talking about my dick. Um, when say I'm gonna come on you, Bianca. It's gonna be one big like comet. It's like a comet. It's this one big big ball of boof. It just kind of you. It can actually hit you. And you can actually feel it kind of like, whoa, it's shit. Like that looks like, oh. whoa, like, you know, in street, like wow, you know in Street Fighter? Okay, yeah, you know in Street Fighter? Remember Ken and Ryu? Uh, Ryu? Uh, but what was it called? It wasn't the Hadouk. It was the Hadouk. No, no, no. It was the, uh, uh, what's the one where I'm they fire the ball? Boom, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a sonic boom. No, no, no. Hold on one second. I'm talking about my dick. Uh, that's, that's guile. Ken and Ray, they, they did the thing where they go from their chest and then they fire out this comet looking thing. What was that called again? Something from the 90s. Let's go, Pico. Jesus, come on. Hadouken. No, is it Hadouken the punch? Yeah, that's it. No, no, no. The other one's a punch. Okay, sorry. So my, 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 my ejaculate looks like the Hadouken. It's like, poof, it's one big one. But see, what I don't have, which I see a lot in porn films, is the, the one that's like going on forever. It's like, it's not yes. one big one, but it's just like, it's a bunch of consistent mm-hmm. flowing it's sperm It's like a fondue out. machine. <laughs> right, and that's what I'm jealous about. That's what oh, I really God. want. I don't like this big one exploding comet and then little spurts of like It's like a blister that residue. popped. And then like pus exactly. just Exactly. Para sa tigyaw at naman laki. And then you may konti pang then you then you squeeze mo pa and just you'll see a little bit yeah, until the blood comes out. That's a, why they, Yeah. That's why they, That's why they, Yeah. No, but you, you know to our caller like maybe all you got to do you just google it if you're really too embarrassed to go to a doctor. I'm sure a lot of guys actually share the same okay. All I'm saying is if you google it you're not going to find the solution because there is no solution. No, no, at that least is find, your biology. maybe find the cause as to why that is so whether it's genetic or it's poor diet or if it's stress it could be whatever, it's right? It's just your dick. Yeah. No oh, well. Okay? It's just your dick. Huh? What are you going to do? Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks for the call. Sorry about that. Wait, wait. But you gotta wonder, wonder, why does he want more sperm? It looks awesome. You look better when I you're coming. I don't think he wants more sperm. He wants more cum. No. Same thing. He wants more He wants more things to come out of his dick. Hold on. Uh, more John. JP, no, more, more what, is it, what does it look like when you're, when you're ejaculating? Hmm? What does it look like? Is it a lot? I mean, like, is it only super little long? I mean... Can you a super, try with ano, words? A super little and then uh, and long. It yeah. doesn't even like spurt out. It's just, it's just. No, drips. no. Oh, baby. Parang dripping lang. Para siyang may... I don't even know why I feel bad. Yeah. I'm just trying to feel bad for him. All right. Thanks for the call. <laughs> okay, take Thanks care. That was such a strange I thought call. girls would like that. It's just, why? Because then you have less to swallow. Yeah. You don't have to fucking... I, I like... personally think the less, you know, like they say in fashion, less is more. Yeah. Yeah, minimalist is the best. I mean, mentally, it's like, okay, he has got he doesn't have any, what is it, have sperm? Like, he doesn't j- jack, or yeah, you could say, I wasn't I Honestly, enough. Honestly, I would think, think maybe because it. you jack off all the time that there's not no. a lot left, like it's no, no. evenly distributed no. or of course something? Not. No, that's crazy talk. Of no, course not. I don't know. Because if you jack, even if you jack off too much, your body produces so much of it, it'll keep up. If you jack off maybe seven times in a row, then yeah, you're not going to get a lot on number seven, number six. Yeah. But like, he he gets it, even on the first one, there's not much. That means it's just I don't body. think it's really a problem. Well, build. well, maybe as a I guy, would he might embrace find it. it. Yeah, yeah. I w- if I was a female, I would embrace it. It's less to swallow. As a guy, I'd have a problem with it. As I do myself, have a problem with it. Yeah. Anyway, I those wanna, golden wanna, showers are not wanna, just just firing like a fucking water gun. Bazooka Joe. This That's is such an awkward conversation. Can we move on to the next call? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Just saying, it's important. Neo, 35, Las Piñas, what's up? Line 5. Leo, Neo. You are known with Neo. Neo. Yes, can you turn off that in the background? So what should, oh. where should I go? Yeah. If, if I want to Who is that talking in the background? It's a TV. The fucker. He said, "Why does my wife find it hard to accept that I like porn?" She gets Why jealous. does my wife? Yeah, they're girls who don't are not comfortable with their husbands watching porn. They think it's mm. like, "Am I not enough? Am I is it cheating? You know, why are you looking at other girls?" No, I'm okay with it. You're okay with it? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Why is that? It's, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not bothered. I mean, it would be different if like, you know, he actually did it behind my back. Like he feels like he needs to hide it from oh, me. Oh, he's and there's like doing that, it behind your back. That, no, like that major, you know, like that major obsession where it's like a drug habit. You know, it's like an addiction that you can't function properly. But if we're talking about like, oh, I feel like watching porn today. And you know, like the DVDs are actually uh, just listen, there in the... I'll tell you this. If your boyfriend is comfortable with watching porn in front yeah. of you, he's doing it 10 times more when you're not around. Okay. Well, the point is that personally for me, I, I'm not bothered. I'm okay. Would you be bothered if you walked in on your boyfriend? If it was gay sex, off? then I, I, again, I have nothing against gay people. But uh, I know, I know, I know. And then I would but, be like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay. But, but, but if, you, if you walk in on your boyfriend masturbating, do you have a problem with that? No. It's better than an actual girl. You know? And what would you do when you walk in and you saw your boyfriend masturbating? Do you can like I join can I you? Help? Oh, really? That's what you would say? Yeah. That hasn't okay. happened yet, but I can imagine because, yeah, it should be fun. Sean, background. Take <gasps> that shit off. Take that shit off the list. <laughs> hasn't happened now, but she would love to join you. I always thought catching a guy masturbating would be like, oh, fuck, that's gross. All right, put that shit away. I'm going to step outside. I think if a girl is quite insecure, and like you said, she feels she's not enough and whatever, but for me, it's 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 porn. Everybody watches porn, you know? I like your attitude. Let's take a break. Back after this. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. At Globe, we believe that every subscriber can give back hope to those who need it most. On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Yolanda devastated Eastern Visayas. In the wake of the disaster, many subscribers and partners took part in Bangun Pinoy, Globe's response to nation building. For that important call or text to let their loved ones know they are safe, Globe immediately reconnected the people of Samar and Leyte to the rest of the country. The products and services of Globe became instruments to bridge families and friends from the Visayas to the rest of the Philippines and the world. As need for aid grew, Globe, together with its employees, subscribers, partners, and volunteers, went through all possible means to reach out to those in need. But this does not end at relief. With the help pouring out of the generosity of our subscribers, the Bangun Pinoy Camp was established in Giwan Leyte as a testimony to the long-standing program GLOBE established to rebuild the provinces affected by Typhoon Yolanda. Through the downpour of love from our loyal customers, GLOBE is also committed to help the people of Eastern Visayas get back on their feet and stay connected to their loved ones. To our loyal customers and subscribers, we send our heartfelt thank you for your kindness and generosity. You have changed the fate of thousands of our fellow countrymen by helping us raise pledges and donations worth over 50 million pesos to uplift the unwavering Filipino spirit. Now your continued volunteerism can help recovery efforts in Eastern Visayas. By sharing your time, treasure, and talent you can help build and repair homes, send kids back to school, and allow communications technology to bring a brighter future to these communities. In doing your part, you can help our brothers and sisters rise again. Thank you for helping us create a wonderful Philippines. What show? That show! It's a show. You know, all that show. It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, 
that show's cool. We talk about, oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina and like a double blow job. Vagina. Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about it's like when you guys like high fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. She hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, it is uh, Monday night. Hope yeah. you guys are having a great start to this week. Hey, I won't be here on Friday night and Monday night of next week. Yeah. So Tell them we might why. have to reschedule. Tell them why. Oh, well, no, I mean, it, 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 I, I cover the NBA All-Star game, so that's, the All-Star game is this weekend. So, Amazing. Um, yes. So, well, you know, it's yeah. cool. Hey, I'm someone is asking me stuff. on Twitter. Um, yeah. They saw an episode where, um, you know, I was talking about my daily expenses, where I write it down. And he was asking if I actually write it down in a notebook. And yes, here is actually the notebook. Like, I, I would show you, but yeah, so my expenses are here. Very low key, low maintenance, no need for like any PowerPoint, Excel. I just do it manually. So I take it with me everywhere. Uh, why don't you do it like a digital one? So it's kind of easier. Only to, because to, to when I did that before. Itself. Only because when I did that before, um, I, one time my phone was stolen. Then the other time, um, my daughter was playing. When she was much younger, she was playing with a the the pen thingy, and then she got so giggle, and then voila, I see that. So I realized let's go as low key as possible. So yeah, I prefer that. Sounds good. All hey, right, responsible, responsible. I don't write okay. shit down at all. <laughs> Okay. I never write that stuff down. All right. Let's go to Maria, 56 years old in Quezon City. Hi, Maria. Wow. You're on line six. Hi. Hi, Mo. Um, how are you? I'm very well. Thanks for calling us. We appreciate you very much. How can we help yes, you, my love? Well, I have four teenage children, and the eldest is at 21 years old, and youngest is at 14. I'm not quite worried about the youngest one, but the, the three boys, three older boys, yeah, I, was gonna say I know they're. Boys. I know they're engaging in sex with their girlfriends. So how do I even start talking to them about safe sex without them rejecting me? I mean, you know, mm. uh, with I, the big you know, gap. Yes. Yeah, I, I think the fact that you're even calling us means that you're built to have this conversation with them. Yeah. Like, I don't think they're going to reject you at all unless your children are assholes, but I don't think they are because you sound like a really nice lady and yeah. I'm sure that kind of trickled down to them. Um, I I think if you do not do it in a judgmental... In an accusatory way. Yeah. And, and I don't think you will anyway naturally, but yeah. when I say it's like, Hoy, you know how like old school yeah. people are yeah, sometimes? Yeah, yeah. So they give you the consequences before even really expanding the entire... Like conversations, like hey, pag nagaganin kayo, wala babubu this guy. You know, just don't be that aggressive uh -huh. attacking mode. I think if you go, you, if you can go, listen. Yeah. I see you and your girlfriend. I, you guys uh -huh. look like you super love each other, and yeah. I know when two people love each other that much, the way you guys do, that you know uh -huh. you're gonna express that by engaging in, you know, yeah. sex. And that's okay yeah. with me. And I understand that. Like, I want you to know that I'm okay with it. I completely understand it. But because you're my son and I care about you, 
Yeah. I just want you to. I just want to make sure that you know you guys are doing the right thing, and it's just this. You know, we don't have to have this conversation ever again. We can just have it one time now. I just want to make sure that you know that it's how important it is. And again, yeah, I'm not upset that you guys do it. I, I completely understand. You guys look like you're super in love. I get it. It's super. Oh, that's yeah. normal. Just uh-huh. I want to make and sure that because you're my son, I care about you. Should I talk with the girlfriends too, or just my son? You know, uh, that would be a nice touch. It's just, I don't know how embarrassed yeah. your sons will be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah, I get no, it. <laughs> but at the same time, no, listen, I'm, at the same time, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that against it. I actually think, because uh-huh. here's, my, here's my thing, how I run this world. My kids uh-huh. are always going to be kids. I don't care if they're 21 mm-hmm. or 31. I know mm-hmm. more than them at all times. So if, they, if I'm going to go ahead and tell their mm-hmm. girlfriends, hey, is my son using protection? And my, 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 my son's going to go, Mom, Dad, why did you do that? I'm like, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of my face, you little uh-huh. shit. I'm going to say whatever yeah, yeah. I want to say. You know, I'm, I'm old enough. I've, I've been in this world long enough. I can say whatever I want. Yeah. That's the attitude that I take. Obviously, it might turn your kids off, but I think it's a nice touch. I think if yeah. you take the girlfriends mm-hmm. out maybe collectively for a dinner, mm-hmm. like, hey, I want to mm-hmm. know, know a little bit more about your girlfriends, just me and the girls. I have all boys. I want, I want uh-huh. to take the girls out. And when you're around, again, approach, approach them as you would your sons. A very casual, yes, I understand that you guys are yeah. doing it, of course, because you guys look like you're so happy and all of that. And I just want to make sure that you girls are using protection and you don't, you don't have to tell my kids that we had this conversation about us girls. Like, you know, you can actually be very charming about it and they're going to yeah. like you more. They're going to they're gonna be like, wow, she's so cool. Yeah, and, and the yeah. way I even see it, it's kind of, you know, again, like what psychology dictates that the more you try to keep it a secret or the more you know it, it's prohibited, the more you'll actually want to do it. But because they yeah. know that they're in an environment or you're setting the tone where they're open to be open with you and that, yeah. that you know, you're not judging them or whatnot, that you actually genuinely care and you, and you know, you're, yeah. you're, they're all, you're on their side, so to speak. If anything, mm-hmm. I, I would think it would even motivate them to some extent to, to be more responsible yes. about it because you were yes. s- such a cool person to actually do that mm-hmm. to them and for yeah. them. Or well, you can incorporate... Yeah, Sorry, go ahead, Maria. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, with the three boys, of course, they have different personalities. The, some may clam, clam up or some may share with me, but how do I deal with the one who would clam up and not, you know, like, Reject me. Well, I think you can incorporate other responsible conversations. Like, it, it, like try to bl- um, set up the talk as if you're going to talk mm-hmm. about a lot of adult things. We're going to talk about yeah. saving today. We're going to talk about this. We're going to and then we're going to throw. We're going to squeeze sex in. I agree. That's if you a good if tactic. you can start if you can start with other topics and have them engage in that conversation and feel comfortable already with adult yeah. topics, then you can yeah. squeeze in the sex talk. So talk uh, about yeah. saving. Talk about what you guys are going to do about paying your college tuition. Just say, like, just say, so, boys, um, you, there's so many of you. There's four of you. I don't know how wealthy you are, Maria. So excuse uh-huh. me if I, uh, if I uh-huh. like, insult you. But I'm more like this. Hey, college is getting more expensive. Now, uh-huh. I can afford to send two of you fully paid, and the other two, I might need some help. Uh-huh. So let's talk about how you guys want to... Start thinking about getting a job. Think, you know, just start yeah. talking about adult things that they want to do in the yeah. future. Okay, now that let's uh, talk about saving. You know, I, I'd love if you guys can have a house by 27. You know, just start throwing. Okay, now yeah. let's talk about your girlfriends. Listen, I know you guys love each other. So I know when two people love each other, they really have sex. I'm really okay. You know, you've already kind of put their guard got down. the icebreaker. Yeah, you yeah. had the icebreaker with the financial talk yeah. and all of that shit. And you can squeeze in the sex talk there. Yeah, and because yeah. the nice yeah. thing, the fact that you talk about preliminary first is the financial and all these things about being responsible. You're sort of um, subliminally trying to, you know, I wouldn't say bother their ego, but trying to show them that you have faith in their capabilities, that they're responsible enough to make good decisions. And so that when the girlfriend thing comes in, like you, like like, uh, like your fear is, yeah. you don't want them to clam up. And usually uh-huh. when people clam up, 
as much as they know it's good for them, they just won't listen to you. They don't hear anything. So at least yeah. if you've already made them feel like, oh, wow, mom has faith in me. She knows that I have capabilities in taking care of school, of whatever, whatever. So at least when the girlfriend thing come, comes in and the sex thing comes in, it, it, yeah. they, they see already that everything is sort of like in line with your whole talk. It's uh-huh. not a yeah. ploy to get to it. And here's, be here's one talk. last thing, Maria, and I think this will work yeah. really well. If you're yo- if the younger ones, the 14-year-olds, the 17-year-olds, if they are the ones that you think are going to clamp up, then just talk to the oldest, the 21-year-old. Say, "Hey, listen, tell yeah. your brothers." Mm-hmm. I was going to say that. Yeah. You know, that that's yeah. a that's probably another tactic that you might want to use. Yeah. But again, it would be great if you can do it. It would be great if you could do it cuz that would be really cool. You know, yeah, it's like thank you. Yeah. It would be it would be kind of nice. I've never had that. Both my parents never talked to me about and you, the sex my, stuff. And you my my parents um either, but I was no, forget about me, but what you can also do is if you actually talk to the eldest one and then you can actually do the talk, the two of you, where, for example, if you feel like the two other boys are going to start to clam up, if you have the eldest one there and he can be like, dude, it's cool. Trust me. Like mom's yeah, okay yeah, with yeah. it. Uh-huh. So, you yeah, know, so at least you kind right, of have right. him <laughs> on your side, but on their side as well. Yeah. Or have the old, have the eldest one, Maria, pass out condoms while you guys are having the conversation. Just so yeah. it's like it's not coming from you, but it's coming from the yeah. the twenty one year old. He's like, oh, hey guy, bro, hey bros, here you gotta, yeah. and yeah. then you know, have a joke around. Then you can joke around with them. Oh, kasha bayan yo. You know, you just kind of fuck around with like little <laughs> mini jokes and stuff like that to kind of mm-hmm. ease ease the mood. Yeah. But again, like I said, right from yeah. the beginning, when we heard your voice, we all I already knew that you're gonna have an easy time with this. You should be no problem. The fact that you're even open about it and all that is really cool. And I think. Uh-huh. I think they'll definitely embrace it. You sound like a really hip mom. Yeah, you sound you're, you're really gonna be fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, where's the husband in all this? Like, I mean, do you have a, a dad or where is he? Uh, uh, yeah, my husband's here, but he's the kind of kind of husband who doesn't make pake alan, you know, like he, he sure. trusts me with everything. Yeah. So yeah, like I all guess our fathers. I just have to do the, yeah. the job myself. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Well, I suggest Thanks. you kind of do it soon because it's Valentine's this weekend, and uh, yeah. I'm sure they got something special. Uh, no, and that's planned. see, that's a, and that's another thing. That's a great yeah. jumping point. Off, exactly. hey, you guys, where are you taking your girlfriends this uh, weekend? You better take them. You better buy them something oh, yeah. nice. You know. You start telling them how to become a better boyfriend, mm-hmm. like, oh, make yeah, sure they, sure they get right, something yeah. nice. And then you kind of be casually more cool about it, and then you throw the sex shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. All right? I know. All right, Maria, you're the best. Okay, take care. You need help. Thank Good you love. very much. Happy Bye. Valentine's. Thank Thank you. Happy you. Valentine's. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye, love. Let's go to Tanzania. You don't ever get Damn. a lot of calls from Tanzania. Uh, we're talking to Ken here, who's 19. Ken, you're in Tanzania. What's up? Hello, how are you? Hi. How are you, East Africa? Thanks for making the call, man. We appreciate it. Are you are you Filipino or are you Tanzanian? Uh, I'm Tanzanian. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, I can hear it in your accent. Um, how can we help you, Ken? What do you got? Uh, well, uh, I've been uh, I've been having a uh, a question that has been really disturbing me. It's like, like is it uh, really um, really true that like uh, wanking is really healthy? Uh, masturbating? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a kind of a Euro slang for masturbating. Uh, okay. um, is it really healthy? Yeah, you know, it is. Uh, I, I, at least I believe so. And listen, Ken, if you don't do it, your body will do it yeah. for you. Like, I don't have... Wet dreams. I don't have wet dreams anymore because I masturbate regularly. And if you oh. know that ejaculation is healthy because... It'll, if, if I'm not mistaken, lessen your risk stress for as well. Well, it lessens your risk for things like prostate cancer and stuff like that Even because high you're actually blood using. Pressure. Yeah, you're using your prostate, so it is definitely healthy. The only drawback, I think, would be like if you masturbate too much, that the skin around your penis can start to like they call it chafing, where it'll start to kind of like dry up because it depending on what you're using as a lubricant. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. I haven't heard anyone else You can't O D like, on masturbating. Yeah, I don't I haven't heard anyone else kinda getting big time injuries yeah. unless you actually make have some sort of accident. Mm. Masturbating should be you should be good to go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How, How often, often do you, you masturbate? Uh, it was really uh, disturbing. I, I really wanted to really no I just clap. Oh no yeah you're yeah, you're fine. How often are you masturbating, though, Ken? Oh, uh, I can say once a week and stuff. Once oh, once a week. That's that's yeah. You can you can you can uh go ahead and make it about four times a week. You're gonna be fine. You're 19, man. Come on, be all you can be, buddy. 
<laughs> Once a week's a little true, low, true. man. Come on. Yeah, come on. Four, four or five times a week at 19, that's my minimum. You know, okay, I'm just 19. gonna go straight to the point here. Do you have a big penis? I'm just curious. It's an African thing, man. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy Valentine's love, to you. I love it. Now, hold on. <laughs> Listen, let me ask you this, Ken, real quick. Tanzania. Okay. okay it, what is English? Um, it kind of like in the Philippines where English is we, it's not the official language, but it's definitely there's a high literacy rate. That's the that's the case in Tanzania as well. Like everybody speaks English there, right? Yeah, yeah, like everyone can speak uh, English or Swahili, and yeah, yeah, Swahili is our local language, so yeah, like that's basically right. everyone speaks English. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like the Philippines. Like we have our Filipino, we have our Tagalog, for example, that's as right. our as our number one language. But everybody speaks English, and that's what I heard about Tanzania. That's good stuff, man. All right, buddy. We'll come back. Come come by the Philippines one day, or we'll pay you a visit. Either or. But thanks for thanks for finding the show, man. We appreciate it. Thanks uh, no for problem. calling. I'll, I'll I'll try and be online tomorrow and give a call too. Yes. Okay, I update would love us that. on your master bathing sets. Yeah, I would. <laughs> thanks, brother. <laughs> okay, appreciate take care. It. Bye. Have a good one. Bye bye. What's the capital? Once a week, the Tobayon. Dodoma. There you go. Param feeling ko no. What do you mean? Once a week? Well, listen, he said it's been bothering him, so maybe he's scared to do any more than once a week. Oh. Well, or maybe weird. that's a lot of penis. And because it's a lot of penis, that's a lot of waste of lotion. I mean, like. That's a lot of penis. It's a tripod, people. It's a tripod. Uh, that's a lot of penis you got working yeah, with. I can only do once. <laughs> you know, I can only do once a week. You know, tiring. It is like as big as big. Because by the time it's over, it's a week. Oh my God. We're so do you gross. know where Tanzania is? Um, um, you yeah, know go. what? This is, these are the times when my geography is um, not too good. Help me out yeah, here. Well, it's it's. Uh, I I'm mean, if it's in the Horn, I mean, it, I don't want to say it's in Africa, Africa because it's that Africa. sounds so. Oh, so it is in Africa because yeah, well, I don't want to sound like dick. oh, he's black, he must be from Africa. You know, I don't want to say that. No, no, either. no, it's Africa. I'm just wondering if it is it in the Horn of Africa. It's I don't think it's in the Horn, but it's definitely like it's near. Um, it's in the east. It's near uh, Congo. Okay, um, near those. All right. Fucking Uganda, like Africa, Africa. Okay. Like fucking Captain Phillips shit. I mean, well, not, well I mean, I don't want to put his country like down. Like Namibia but, you know, that, and all those things. It's near Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It, it, it can get in an area where, you know, the, the neighboring countries are a little conflict. Yeah. Ah. Which... But, but I hear good things about that. And I love I like their flag. They got a cool flag going on over there. Um, let's go to Canada. Okay. And then we wow, have to take a commercial break. we have break. so many foreign calls. I told you. There's a lot of foreign calls today. Uh, Robert, you're 31. Canada, what's up? Hi. Line five. I'm Mo. Hey. And where are you from? Hey. Oh, uh, in Brandon. Where the hell is that? Uh, Manitoba. Ooh, Jesus. That's cold too, man. All right, yeah, buddy. What do you got? Too cold. That's, well, what's the temperature outside? Now, right now, it's around yeah. 20 below. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Below zero. Oh, below. <laughs> oh, below. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, what do you so got, how Robert? can we help you? Okay, here's the thing. I just arrived here last, last, late last year. Wow, your balls are frozen. I, I work in a grocery store. Mm-hmm. Sure. And Selling um, frozen <clears throat> produce. And, well, all, all my coworkers are white, so... I was wondering how to pick up white girls. Ah, <laughs> uh, Pico mm. is laughing because he already knows the solution. So he seems to know. Well, listen, I'll tell you this. Yeah. Uh, Mikey Bustos, who's on our morning show, and, you, and I don't know if you know him. He's from Canada. And he would say, and he's, he's, of, you know, he's brown complected. He would say that, uh, that it's actually a turn on for a lot of people there. And that, that people kind of levitate towards him because... He uses it, you know, he uses it to his advantage. He's different from a lot of people. And that's Toronto, a very, I mean, there's, I've been to Toronto several times. Yeah, there's Somalians there. There's, you know, Chinese, there's yeah. Filipinos, there's everybody. And he still yeah. uses it to even his here, advantage. Even here in Manitoba. So lots, yeah, but I'm, I'm lots assuming, of Filipinos and yeah, other Yeah, but I'm assuming Manitoba other... has less of a selection than Toronto. Just yeah. because Toronto's your, your, your kind of your biggest city. Um, yeah. 
So try to use it to your advantage. Yeah, no, consider yourself uh, as like have, an exotic person. Yeah, you know? kind of be confident about it because you can smell confidence in someone. Mm-hmm. And if you kind of go yeah. out and you go, hey, I'm different. I'm, I'm desirable because I'm different. I think you'll find that a lot of people will kind of you know, levitate towards you. Plus, when you're abroad, you tend to like striking up a conversation with people from other cultures who have different accents. Like you can tell already with this last guy that called, um, Ken from T- Tanzania. Yeah. You can tell by the way we talk to him how excited we are because it's just somebody from a different place. It's not the same yeah. – it's not the same group that's of right. people that you Actually, get. Yes, that's true. And and you know when we when we take calls from the U.S. or Canada, you guys are here every night, so it's not that big of a deal unless you tell me you're from some wild area that we don't ever get calls mm-hmm. from. Then we're like, oh wow, that's cool. But again, you see the change in our behavior when we find out that you're from somewhere else. Like if you called and you said I'm from um, Canada, and I said where, you say some shit like Yellowknife or some <laughs> crazy fucking you know place out there where with the igloos and stuff we'd be like oh my god that's so fucking awesome and then we start striking up a different kind of conversation with you it's a natural reaction i think from people and the more you converse with super locals like you my hardcore lo- local manitobians or whatever you guys are called over there i think just naturally they're going to be like, oh, wow, hey, tell us about you. Tell us about your country. What do you guys do over there? Tell us about the weather. You know, And then that's just kind of a nice little icebreaker already. So I think you have things going for you here. I agree. Um, what's your name again? Fuck. Robert. Where Robert. You're, you, you look a little different. You're from a different country. You obviously have an accent. Use all of those things to your advantage. And I think – your chances are going to be all right. Yeah, because you also Ooh. have to look at it again. Like Mo was saying, a person can can smell confidence. I mean, for example, if a guy, like in your case, if I were to meet you and I saw someone who was talking about, who has so much passion in his heritage, where he's from, not even what he looks like, but obviously his heritage, that would imply that he's different. When I see that, when I sense it, it makes me want to be more interested in getting to know you that even after a while, I don't even know this. I wouldn't say I wouldn't know this, but what you look like is already very secondary because you're just so interesting. And that's very, you know, it, 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 um, it's very captivating for certain people. So, yeah, like, I, like, like Mo said, harness on that. And, um, you know, I just arrived here last year, so I still have, I still don't know how to talk to them, to approach them, so... Maybe well, you know, the grocery store. Maybe. <clears throat> well, yeah, but the grocery store is like working at a salon. There's a lot of conversation going on. The cashier is yeah. talking to the shopper. Then they talk to you. Then you can kind of you, – you just kind of – if you're, you need to practice with your coworkers. And what's good is, the, you know, that area where you work the grocery store, that's a, that's a place where a lot of people talk. They, they interact true. with each other. It's like your friendly it's, it's neighborhood kind of grocery store. Yeah. So people right. are not as. The cashiers have to talk to the customers mm-hmm. and they have to go, How is your day? Oh, this is a really nice special and stuff yeah. like that. And then you go, Oh, okay. How can I help you? Paper or plastic or whatever. It's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's an environment where there is conversation going on. And that's where I think you can practice your best. And then you'll be and able to same, use that. At the same time, observe. It, it's a good thing, you know, just being around that environment. Is observe how people are. Maybe there are certain people that she seems a little more, you know, friendly. She's not as abrasive or she's not as guarded. So, you know, you try and study the people around you first. And then try and practice on the ones that you think are more open to having, you know, just um, can conversations every now and then you'll be, you'll be fine you'll be fine it'll take time okay. though bud but you'll be fine okay okay yeah. take right, care hey, thanks. thanks man bye 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 uh let's take a commercial break because we right. are kind of running a little late here it's monday night good times with the podcast brought to you by globe I want to thank all the people calling from wherever you are around the world. We appreciate you guys so much. I know. 478 Skype, The Good Times Podcast. Yeah. You can text us here at 927-214-1981. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Bravo. 
remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across the country. See? I see one right there. What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent... H HQ, do you read me? Respond, Agent CT. Do you copy? What's your status? Agent, do you copy? You copy to robotic... Where am I? There seems to be no signal that we're at this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agent CT! Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission! To the Homeowners Association meeting. Homeowners Association Office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh great, just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites, we need to set up a cell site within this village. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets, they feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. But what about the health risks? Fear not. Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about it. Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree! I want to call my father now. Yeah! That's exactly what we need! Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you, random citizen. I want to sell sign right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That Super Agent CT now! Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. 
Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Friends says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program tonight. Good Times with Mo, the podcast brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954, Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can text us at 927-214-1981. I think it's the last chance for people to get their calls in, right? Yeah, I'm looking at the time. Yeah, last chance for your calls to get in. Uh, again, if you are calling from Manila, we will get you a bouquet of flowers to be delivered to whoever you want for Valentine's, courtesy of SuppliesCentral.ph. Um, I want to remind everyone, follow me on Twitter, at DJ Mo Twister, because not only am I giving away, say, these shoes from Titan, Titan 22, um, also giving away... Mosh pit tickets and all these kind of like VIP passes to the upcoming Macklemore and Ryan Lewis concert, which is happening in February as well. So all of that stuff you can get on my Twitter account. So please go ahead and do that. Hey, follow Bianca as well. You get nothing but shoe <laughs> photos. But so love, that's kind of cool. But love. Bianca underscore Valerio. Yeah, that's also Twitter. for Instagram and Ask FM. Is it? Cool. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Let's talk to Sophie, who is 23 in Marikina. Hi, Sophie. You're on line six. What's up? Hi, there. Hi. Hi, Good Sophie. Evening. How can we help you? Yes, I have this problem. Like, I really don't know who am I going to go with on the V-Day because I have this, I'm seeing this guy, single guy. Um, He's single, and but he's not yet working. And then... Here's the other guy who's married, but with a good career, I mean, money, power, and all that stuff. So, Yay. I mean, Why is this even a conversation? He, but he's married. <laughs> the second guy's married. Ah, so but of he course he know. is. Oh, you didn't hear the married part. Hello. Well, no. I, mean, I heard the married <laughs> part after I was already complaining. Why is this yeah. even a choice? Um, okay, so. <clears throat> I like them both. Yeah, but, you know, the other guy's married, right? You understand yeah. that that's kind of like, not only are you a whore, but you're going to do it on Valentine's Day. Ouch. Like, come on. No, really. Listen, Sophie, I like you. I like your personality. I love our callers. But come on, though. Did you fuck this guy yet? What? Did you fuck him yet? Not yet. Yeah. But you're gonna maybe on a V day. I'm not sure. Yeah. Girl, keep your mm. keep your legs closed. Come on, come on. I Sophie, mean, not yet, Sophie, baby. Seriously. Sophie, I don't know. Yet. Is he married? Is he married like with his wife and shit at home, or is he married na parang you know they're separated and all that? What? Sorry. Is he what like kind of, living with his kind wife of, yeah. and stuff? What kind yeah. of married is he? Is he married like with his family at home, married, or is he married like he's separated but married still? With the family at home. Oh, Sophie, Jesus Christ. Girl, come on. Listen, do you like me, Sophie? Yes, of course, so yeah, much. Right. You have no okay, idea. Okay, if you okay, if you like super, me super. and you okay, and you don't want me to disappoint me, please don't do this. Yeah. You're gonna piss me uh, off. Oh yeah. Or put it this way, Sophie, okay. Every time there are callers like these, and you know me, I miss anti cheating, right? And there are times yeah. when I go, you know, when I give my opinion, maybe judgmental, you know, and you know, Mo has told me, 
At the end of the day, we have to make sure that we make our callers happy. We give them the, the advice that, that that they want, and and at the same time, we you know we have nothing to gain. We do, we are just giving our unbiased opinion. But for Mo to actually say, "Shala nagsasabi, girl, wag mong gawin," di ba? I didn't even say anything. I was trying so hard to hold myself back. I love you, Mo. Yes. Thank you, Sophie. No, no, Sophie. That. Do me a favor, love. Are you pretty? You good looking? <laughs> Of course I am. Okay, there's a lot of rich that. guys out there that are single. You can fuck them all day long. And you can fuck them for money. I don't care. You could be straight up and say, okay, I'll fuck you for 10,000 pesos right now. There are guys that, not this one. Please, not this one. Now, here's the thing, though. It doesn't mean that he's going to stop being a fucking asshole. He's going to find another girl that he's gonna, that's going to uh, that's gonna say yes to his dick. Just don't be but that just girl. don't let it be you. Yeah, yeah, just don't let it be you. Come on, love. Come on, Sophie. Okay. Because don't it's be gonna the affect family you down the breaker. Line. Don't do it. <laughs> plus, plus, you don't want to break families at 23. You know, it's just such an awful... You're so young. It's such an awful thing to yeah. do when you're young. Like, if you're 35 and you want to fuck some DOM guys, then maybe we'll have a different conversation. But I don't want yeah. you starting... Your adult life already in Kabet fucking like in a Kabet situation at a young age. Yeah. It's just not good for you. And and here's the thing though. I mean, let's just say, let's just say, like, you really, really like this this uh married guy. And your reasons were, you know, he's just so kind, he's just so whatever. No, but no, no he said rich and powerful. No, exactly. It makes it yeah. even worse because your reasons aren't even like noble. They're just because he's rich and powerful. So, girl, marami pang ganon. Iba na lang, Yeah, na walang asawa. Marami, marami may amin na walang asawa. <laughs> kung, kung maga- kung, if, you're really, if you're really pretty, you'll find them. Trust yeah. me. Kung talaga maganda ka, you'll, they'll come to you. Mm-hmm. Just relax a little bit. Just wait. Please don't do this. Because you're so young. I will. Okay, now right. I'm really... Now, hold on. Okay, now, yeah. why, why is a pretty girl like you... Even entertaining the thought of dating a guy who has no job. Yeah, good question. Okay. No, no, Sophie. My question is, why is a pretty girl like you, Sophie, maganda ka, why are you entertaining the idea of dating an unemployed guy? Um, well, actually, they have this family business, and he just resigned from his work, so... Um, as right. of the moment, he doesn't work. Okay, but he's rich. He doesn't also. have to work. But, what? but he's rich. He's rich, though, too, um, right? Not really. Not really, but. What is a girl like, like you do? They have something to say, naman. As a family, they have their own business, though. I know, but the point is, you're not even convincing enough that this guy is even worth any attention. So why are you even considering giving him any attention? Yeah, like why? Okay, if he's not if he's not wealthy and he's unemployed, yeah. why do you like him? Um. Oh well, maybe because they're kind of you know good looking. But I yeah. was just you know just the two of them. I was just like picking just the two of them. But I'm not sure of the others. I really don't like the others. Just, just okay, the Sophie. Two just of them, just you know. Okay, listen. How about you do this? Just wait until you find the guy who comes around, who's got a lot of money, he's single, and then you can do that. In the meantime, you can have sex with a good-looking guy because he's good-looking, and that's always cool. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just don't fuck the married one, please. Yes? Yes? Stay away from him. All right, Sophie. Now, do me a favor. Pico, go get... get yeah, mm-hmm. Pico, go get her contact info and all that stuff. We gotta give it a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. we'll get there. Hold on, Sophie. Yeah. Hold, on. Hold on one second. Pico okay. needs to talk to you off air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have, Pico. Yeah, Mo, I have a question. And that's Pico. He's barely employed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, barely. Yeah, I'm super rich. I don't know, made, super made chance. Rich. Oh, I man. have a question. Yeah. You know, it's like, it, it's. Like sometimes no, it's not even a question. Like I'm so relieved. Like when there are calls like this, and you actually say things like that, it's like, oh, thank God, he actually feels that way. At least I'm not that person who's such a party pooper, you know. So no, but um, obviously there are there are certain things that the callers will want to get involved in that will support them, even if it's wrong. And then there are things that are really wrong. Like if a guy calls the show and says, hey, I want to get this girl drunk so I can fuck her, I'm going to be like, hey, asshole, that's rape. It doesn't matter whether yeah. you, if you're a caller and you want to do that, it's wrong. Yeah. And this is wrong too. Like it's just, it is because she's young. And like, again, 
not that I would change my my advice if she was 35 or if she was 40. Okay. I just know the damage is so great when you're excited to ruin things at a young age. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm so glad because, you know, I mean, let's be honest. A lot of people call the show because you people would like to believe that you are that guy that gives them the blessing of I'm on their being side. a douche. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, you it's know? not being a douche. It's, it's, I think I'm on their side with what they are interested in yes. and what they want to do. Yes, they and want that and all of their friends from you. And all of their friends are saying, wag, wag, wag. And then, of course, oh, well, here comes me that is going to say, no, you can do it. Yeah. Let's, let's try. So this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm told her she can do it, just not right now. Hey, you want to do that? Fine, you do it. Do it in your 30s. Do it in your 40s. Whatever. Don't do it now. Yeah, don't because do Because you're going to be you're going to be stuck like that for a long time. And she's probably got a shitty father or whatever. Yeah, um, I know. And the thing is like it's it's like you know lang ba choices mo, wala ka nang iba. Parang hindi mo mga well, sila no, pa bentang pareho she eh. She's probably a 6 or a 7. But those are the true those those are the two that she likes. Yeah. She likes a guy who's good looking. That's fine. I understand that. Yeah. No job. All right. Or a rich guy who's powerful. Everybody likes rich and powerful. That is Everybody so cliche. Those two choices, huh? Yeah, but it's 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 it, because it's true. Yeah, it is a reality. Everybody I mean, that's why likes it's a cliche. Rich yeah. and powerful. Yeah. And it's oh, well. so so. I don't want to like judge her for it because I know it's normal. There are a lot of people that like it. Just don't do yeah. it. Don't be the one. False. Um, Good call, Robert. Good call. Okay. Twenty-one line three. What do you got, Rob? Hello. Hi, Rob. Hey. Hey, um, well, I just have this little, well, it, it's not my problem. It's my friend's problem, and sure. I want to help him. Okay. What do you got? Okay, so my friend, uh, he was a mama's boy before. And Pico, then, where's that Twitter unfortunately, account? Unfortunately, his, oh, huh? sorry? Sorry, no, nothing, go ahead. go ahead. Okay, he was he was a mama's boy, and his mom uh, passed away three years ago. Yes. And then yes. um, recently, he found out that his dad was, uh, is already dating. And mm-hmm. um, he found out through a bad way, if you know what I, if you know what I mean. He walked in while they were fucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. How soon? Pretty bad. T- till he d- was dating in three. Uh no. The, three. Sorry. What did you say? Um. He started sorry, well, dating. How soon after? Okay, that's the kind of bad part. Uh, when his dad told him everything, he said that they have been dating for more than two years now. But, of course, after the mom died. And then now my friend, all, how could you have replaced her so easily? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Especially being all a right, mom's boy and everything. And now he moved out, and he's now struggling. Like, he earns quite a lot, but he moved out, and then he couldn't enjoy his life because he, he's paying for so much shit. Yeah, so that's tough, man. I, I want him to say sorry because... I don't think his dad was too much in the wrong. Yeah, I mean, okay, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. We're gonna put you on hold. I, I gotta address something unrelated. Hold on. Okay. What's happening? GN. GN. Yeah. So, Jean, all I ask from you is details of the callers, right? I'm sorry. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah, don't wait. cry. Okay. You know our last caller, the 23-year-old. Are you, ta- are you talking? Yeah. To me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to everybody. Yeah? Yeah, yeah Bianca and all this. She was actually 32. Uh, Gian here flipped over the age from 23 to 32. Yeah, she missed no. Local. But it doesn't no. mean yeah. that she no. should Wait, still on. sleep with a hold fucking on. married Wait. man. Listen, listen. My advice was when you're in your 30s, go ahead and do it. I know, now, but I don't. Oops. Wait, hold, wait. See, Cougar naman sa phone, hindi naman tayo kna- she didn't even correct us. We were 23. Yes, oh, I'm 23. Uh, oh, say- I'm kind of young. <laughs> you, all of you, all of you. Shame. Numbers. It's numbers. Shame on all of you. Uh, it's numbers. From the caller to Gian to, to Pico not being able to get Kasi her hindi fucking contact info. Gian, kaya hindi na nakaligtaan Good niya. Good Lord, you people. So now, you know what she's going to do now? She's going to be fucking She's going to say, oh, Mo said, if I'm in my 30s, I can do it. I would have changed my fucking advice say, okay. if I knew the fucking information was okay, correct. Okay, say it now. Say it now. She's going to be listening right, to right. this. Say it. All right. Listen, you old ass. <laughs> that behavior is for 20-year-olds. Don't do it. <laughs> you're supposed to do that crazy stuff when you're young. Now that you're in your 30s, it's time to mature. Oh, God. Don't fuck that guy. 
He's married. Just don't You're be a, a skank, woman. people. You, if you want to skank around, don't yeah. do the married man or the married woman. I understand if you were 23 years old. I understand if you were 23 years old and you wanted to live a crazy wild life. Then I would say fine. But oh, you're 32. Oh, 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 it's time to mature no, up. Feeling, uh, no, feeling young. Pa, All, right, si All right. All okay, right. Okay, moving back to our caller. Gian, stop with the emoticon crying fucking sad faces <laughs> on my screen. <laughs> Oh Lord. my god, is it those big stickers on Skype? And then it's it oh the cutest animated things. tears. They're the Jesus. cutest. Oh god. Yeah, right. those faces on Skype. Like you can't you can't not you can't get mad. Hey, 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 hey. This water. isn't Panda Regla talk. You hush up already, Bianca. We gotta take a call here. Okay, fine. All right, so Robert, here we go. Let's get back to it. How old is your friend again? My friend, same age. Same, 21. Okay, so his dad started dating another girl a year Let's removed a few after. Months after to the mom a few died. months after. Okay, a few months after Mamba, who he loved so much. And then he yeah. found out by walking in on them banging. After mm. three years. After three oh, years. He he, and, and then you them. said, now you say, you know, he should say sorry to the dad because it's, you know. You know it's uh, like, because I think he said so many things that he didn't mean. Maybe oh, he's he just caught up in the moment and, and saying things. Okay. Uh, let me tell you this, though. I'll tell you this. I'm with your friend on this one, man. Mm. Fuck my dad if he did that. Fuck him. Not only would I fuck him, I'll fucking probably kick his ass while I'm at it, too. I would beat him down, to, uh, to be honest. if I, I would physically beat the shit out of him. Really? Or something like that. Absolutely. It's disrespectful. You didn't tell me. You okay. know that I was hurting. And the moment I was hurting, and I was hurting for a long time, you were getting pussy. I will beat him down like right, the old right. man that he is. So that's me, okay? Now, you don't share that opinion, and Bianca doesn't share that opinion, but that's my opinion. So should he apologize? No, he shouldn't. He actually should go over there and take a shit in his house on the floor like I always do when I despise somebody. Great. Can um, I add something? Sorry. No, because uh, I, that's, that, I, I'm not going to tolerate that behavior. I don't care if he's single all of a sudden and he's this and that. You don't do that. Not when yeah, you have I'm, children. I'm a, I'm you don't do it without talking cool to me. I'm not cool with him moving on a little bit too fast. And then, yeah, worse is not telling the children. I'm hurting. Yeah, I'm hurting. You know I'm close to cool. my mom. You know right. that. And yet you fucking do that. And then you fucking catch me fucking you banging her. And Is that the same bed that my mom slept in? Yeah, is that the and same this bed is the that worst my mom part, died though. in? This is what crosses my mind. And I'm not saying this is what happened, but this is what crosses my mind. Why so soon? Was there a crossover somewhere? Oh, no, I don't no, know. Yeah, no, no, no. Fuck no, it. Again, Who cares about that's that? So just it'll my likely, yeah, so no, it, it just it'll, it'll likely, makes me even more angry. It'll likely be of obvious that, that of course, that there was something there going on already. On, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So my thing is, no, I don't want to apologize. Now, he's struggling. If Is the dad wealthy? Uh, well, they're well... Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of. Not does he have siblings? Wealthy, but they, they're okay. Does he have so? Does he have brothers and sisters? Unfortunately, no. Oh man, what a I tough mean, situation not for anything. For I mean, just because he's, I don't want to be sound insensitive, mm. but just because he's struggling, all of a sudden now he's gonna try and suck it up. I mean. If he really does feel so passionately, let's say, about you know him being upset with the dad and all these things, then trust me, he will have enough motivation to really suck it up and you know try and uh, maybe alter his spending habits or, or you know lifestyle habits. Well, no, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, no, no, here's what we're gonna do, Robert. God damn it! Two things. Number one, pretend you're sorry. Grab pretend all that money. Okay. Tell him to suck your dick. After oh that. God! That's what I would do. Oh wait, I would, I, can I add something? Wow. Sure, go ahead. Just very, very—it's uh, kind of big. Uh, sure. Well, the whole family knows that the mom cheated before. Oh fuck! Wait, yeah, wait, wait, that's yeah, a big deal. So that's, so that's why you know I think that the dad is not too much in the wrong because the mom cheated before, but the dad actually forgave the mom. Okay. And that was like maybe five to seven years before uh, she died. Does the son know? Yes, everybody knows. Yeah, okay. yeah. So well, that actually goes to knows. show that you know the dad loved the mom. Yeah, but yeah. Now, right. Yeah, it, it does change things yeah. a little it bit. It does I mean, change yeah. things. A it complicates bit. things. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
What did he say to the dad? You said he said some pretty awful stuff. Do you know what he said, like, specifically? Well, I didn't get every detail, but, you know, uh, she, uh, wait, he said that he uh, hated him and that, you know, how could you do this? How could you do that? And then the dad, you know, just couldn't take it. And then um, instead of trying to reconcile, I, I don't think you can reconcile right away especially if you're in the heat of that bad of a moment. Right, right. So, yeah, his balls are hanging out. They're, they're both very, very proud, full of pride and everything. So they went their separate ways. And I think that it's uh, stupid, actually. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, fuck. Because the, the mom cheating thing all of a sudden kind of does complicate things because... You know, it's not. No, it's no longer a noble cause. It's not. It, it, wait, hold on. No, I, I retract. It's still a noble cause, but at the same time, it's like. Uh, how do you say? It's it? not so um, much it justifies that the dad is. Oh, I mean, it makes it less. It offensive. just shows him that he, no, but it it, yeah. it gives him some leeway that hey, wait a minute, I've. I've sacrificed too in this yes. relationship and in stuff like that. So you can't just all of a sudden take a shit in his living yeah. room. Okay. Uh yeah, I guess I would encourage him to 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 say, to try to patch things up yeah, and to and to, to for if if it means for personal gain, like financial gain, fine. He can still hate him, like I'm still fine with that. He can still hate him, yeah. but at least it'll be easier for him to let his pride down, go over there, get some money, and then he doesn't even he doesn't necessarily have to be close to his dad after that. I don't know. I'm not so keen on that advice. That is one option. Why? But for me, what's it's, wrong it's, with that? Um, it's not that it's wrong. It's just that it's just one option. You know, that is how you feel. Yeah, but what do you like about I, it? The, the the way I feel about it is, you know, I'm not just gonna look at my parent as some ATM machine. It's like you, you know, you hurt me, and and do you know what I mean? I mean, they are. I don't see anything wrong with it. They that. are still human as well, and and like you said. Like you said, right? You have said this on the show a billion times. When a woman, okay, when a guy cheats on a woman, when a guy cheats on a girl, it's like, ah, it sucks. Yeah, leave him. But when a woman cheats on a man, that's like, holy Jesus, right? You well, said no, this. No, yeah, no, no I, I'll, I'll say what I said. When a girl cheats on a guy, it's because the guy, there's something wrong with the relationship. There's something, there's something fundamentally, there's a fundamental issue there that has been brewing for a long time that um, has been spoken about that you've almost even told them, hey, I need you to change this and this. And when you don't, all right, I'm going to fuck someone else. Uh, th that's what happens with girls. Girls just don't cheat because they're going to cheat. Yeah, Guys well, do. well, the okay. point is it's also, you know, like you said, the, the ego of the guy, it's, it's very hard to take that because it's not, it's very double standard. And so for the dad to actually forgive the mom and suck it up and be like, you know, we have kids, we have a marriage, I'm a, well, let's try and work this out. Who knows how he was feeling, right? And then finally when she... I Exactly, finally, but, but when she passed away, it's kind of like you know, I, I I gave him my best in the marriage. Again, I'm only assuming, but you know, he's entitled to his own happiness too. It was bad that he lied about it. He it was really bad. So I suggest is that they actually talk it out like two grown men. You know, come on, it's still family. Yeah, uh, I, I I disagree. I think that uh, in the end, still, it's I love my mom. And it doesn't matter what she's done. I'm a you daddy's fuck with her girl, like that. So yeah, you, you I fuck, mean, I you love fuck with... my mom. Don't get me wrong, but I right. But what I'm saying is, like, you fuck with her like that, and her memory, and you know I'm hurting. That's the key. You know I'm hurting, and then you're gonna let me catch you in bed in the bed that you guys stayed in, fucking this girl. Or I'm gonna yeah, have a problem. But sometimes that. you can't just consider your feelings. You know, you have to consider. Uh, yeah, no, all I care about is my feelings. No, well, that's good. Yeah. I'm good with my feelings. I'm the only child here, so I don't have to think about any other brothers and sisters being hurt by this. It's just how I, in fact, I feel about it. And I think if he's struggling financially and the father, to an extent, has earned a little bit of patience because he's shown compassion in the past, I think they can, they can patch it up a little bit. Yeah. He can get a little bit of money. I mean, they have don't to have to, to be him. like blood brothers, like super tight. But, you know, there's still some leeway there for them to find like a middle ground, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Um, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, quick announcement. Yes. Did you know that you can also stop getting mobile spam messages on your Android device? You can block the spammer's number and the commonly used phrases. Go to settings, then spam messages, settings, click 
add to spam numbers, then input the spammer's number. Go back and click add to spam phrases, then include the usual spam phrases. If you didn't quite catch this, I'll be posting the uh, steps on my uh, Twitter account again, so you can go ahead and check that out. All right, let us wrap it up. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll say our goodbyes and send you on your way tonight. So thank you very much for all the calls that we've received. We appreciate you guys very, very much. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. At Globe, we believe that every subscriber can give back hope to those who need it most. On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Yolanda devastated Eastern Visayas. In the wake of the disaster, many subscribers and partners took part in Bangun Pinoy, Globe's response to nation building. For that important call or text to let their loved ones know they are safe, Globe immediately reconnected the people of Samar and Leyte to the rest of the country. The products and services of Globe became instruments to bridge families and friends from the Visayas to the rest of the Philippines and the world. As need for aid grew, Globe, together with its employees, subscribers, partners, and volunteers, went through all possible means to reach out to those in need. But this does not end at relief. With the help pouring out of the generosity of our subscribers, the Bangun Pinoy Camp was established in Giwan Leyte as a testimony to the long-standing program Globe established to rebuild the provinces affected by Typhoon Yolanda. Through the downpour of love from our loyal customers, Globe is also committed to help the people of Eastern Visayas get back on their feet and stay connected to their loved ones. To our loyal customers and subscribers, we send our heartfelt thank you for your kindness and generosity. You have changed the fate of thousands of our fellow countrymen by helping us raise pledges and donations worth over 50 million pesos to uplift the unwavering Filipino spirit. Now your continued volunteerism can help recovery efforts in Eastern Visayas. By sharing your time, treasure, and talent, you can help build and repair homes, send kids back to school, and allow communications technology to bring a brighter future to these communities. In doing your part, you can help our brothers and sisters rise again. Thank you for helping us create a wonderful Philippines. What show? That show! It's a show. You know, all that show. It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina. And... Like a double blowjob. Vagina. Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know... Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, just live for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, tables waiting for you.
so she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, let's get out of here tonight. Caller of the night, what do you say, Bianca Valerio? I Who like the cool mom. The cool mom deserves the flowers, you know. And and for yeah, you know, she should also like, talk about. She should talk to her kids about encrypting sex tapes <laughs> and all of these other really. Like, and she can even give the flowers to her son to give to the girlfriend. <laughs> Recycling, right. you know. Yeah, good stuff. So Happy let's go mom. ahead and give that to her. Yeah. Congratulations, mom. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure who's going to be tomorrow. If it's going to be Carlos Aldrin or maybe even Bianca. We'll, we'll, Bianca, okay. can you? Yeah, just I don't let know if you've know. got some scheduled, but we'll we'll work it out. I know yes. that Carlos said he's going to either do Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. So and we'll, yeah, I know. We'll and work to it out. you guys who plan on calling when Carlos is here, he is so dying for like apple calls, like yes, penis, please. vagina calls. It yeah. doesn't need to be political. Like big calls. dick calls, fucking yeah. you know, anal, like yeah. Yeah, totally. Semen in your ear. Bring it on. People, pe- yeah, people call all the time. It's like, so what do you think about this new fucking pork barrel uh, thing that they found out? He's like, oh, fuck. Again. Unless you barreled your dick in some pork, <laughs> please. I don't want to talk about pork barrel. Yeah. So I'll get I'm the sure smutty he shit. Wants when some, he's well. Something fresh and different. Yeah. That's right. Um, okay. Let's also. Oh, our condolences, of course, to the family of Tado, who has been on the yes, show. Yes, that's right. Who, I worked with him um, before very shortly. Yeah, Such who's nice so kind of dear to this industry, you know, whether it be radio and whatnot and podcast. So, um, yeah, condolences go out to his family. Uh, I know he has children, if I'm not mistaken, stuff like that, and wife. They're small, so, like, I feel bad. Um, I know that, Ange, you went by the wake of uh, Tado, right? Did you go yeah. down to the yeah, wake of did. Tado? Yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah, did. So. She did. Tough, tough stuff, man. Um all right, so yes, let's get out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Have a very good evening. This podcast, this podcast, of course, brought to you by Globe, and you can follow Bianca Valerio at Bianca underscore Valerio on Twitter. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.